Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today I'm just gonna do a really quick feature overview of something that's getting ready to hit EFT and uh, we're pretty excited about. Uh, but it's called Immersive Presenter. Now, you may have seen me do some videos on this before, but this involves the Desk Pro and it uh, allows you to do, um, well, you've seen me do videos about how we can change our virtual backgrounds, for example. Uh, well, you can also choose your USB-C or HDMI, PC, Mac input and use that as your virtual background. Uh, and you may have seen some videos with things, we commonly refer to it as the weatherman effect, where you could uh, have that as your background and put yourself as a little pip kind of down below to the left or the right. Uh, it was a very popular feature, but based on some testing and feedback, we have changed the way it works a little bit, and I wanted to give you a preview of it. Now, another thing I want to mention is you may have seen at WebEx One, the WebEx client is going to be able to do this. Um, and there's some terminology changes here where it used to be called immersive share. And there is some documentation that still says that. Um, but this is the same thing. Uh, it's being renamed or rebranded as immersive presenter. Uh, and I think it'll make a little more sense why whenever I go through and show you how it's going to work. Um, but um, just know that when we talk about immersive presenter or immersive share, it's the same feature. Uh, or if people refer to it as the weatherman feature, it is the same. So I just wanna show you the UX and kind of give an idea of how it works. Uh, I'm actually gonna be demoing this outside of a call, but it will work the same way in a call. Uh, the beauty of it is you can play around with this once you're uh, available and if you're in the EFT, this will soon be available for GA. Right now the target is uh, looking at March. Um, so not too, too far away, but um, I do just again wanna kind of give you a little brief overview of it and show you how it's going to work. So let me go ahead and move to uh, my desk pro here. Now, you guys have seen me do this before, but I'm actually showing you the um, visual interface of my desk pro. And uh, I'm just gonna interact with it direct here. Um, so you've got my, uh, I'm using the desk uh, cam here as the little pip in the bottom. But what I'm gonna do here is, you'll notice on the bottom left down here, I've got my, uh, my uh, menu toolbar here that I wanna kind of move around. But there's a new button here. Um, and it's the one that's kind of in the middle. And that's what's gonna be our immersive presenter button. Now, the reason this is showing up, even though I'm not in a call, is because this is my Mac uh, desktop, which you guys see, I use the same one all the time in all my demos. So um, I'll bring my, uh, my mouse over here. You can kind of see it moving around a little bit. Um, so in a way, I'm, I'm already sharing. So I'm able to kind of demonstrate this without actually being in a call. And sometimes being in a call makes these a little uh, harder to do. So uh, this process is gonna be the same. So I don't actually have to share, um, even though you do see my sharing options, I do have my, you see that my, my PC or my uh, Mac is being shared via USB-C here. But because I am sharing, I'm getting this menu option. And when I bring it up, you're gonna see here that I have uh, a bunch of different options as far as to where my PIP is going to go, right? So bottom left, top right, uh, or sorry, bottom right, top right, bottom left, top left. And what I have to do here is, is I'm gonna touch it again, it keeps going away on me, but I'm gonna say, show me in front of presentation. Now, you're seeing me now here kind of on a, a different video. There's a little bit laggy because I'm doing a, a, a virtual uh, scrape of this here. Um, but what's happening here is, is now my, um, my share, in this case, what is being shown on my uh, uh, desktop is um, being overlaid with my, my video with a virtual background. And of course, I can come in here, adjust, and I can move myself around to the different areas, hide myself behind my own uh, pip here. But as I do that, this is what would be um, would be would be shown whenever I was sharing content. So the difference here now is is that instead of making this part of my video feed, if I'm sharing content through the content channel or presenting, if you will, hence immersive presenter, um, this is now what's going to be shown on the content channel. Now, one thing to note, if you look over here on the right, there is a um, an icon over here, and I'm going to move my mouse to kind of help show it, um, showing that my video is off. So the main video will be off. You will not be seeing two feeds of me uh, in this meeting. You're just gonna see a kind of a grayed out line through pip uh, for the video, but my content's gonna show large on the content channel, me with this being there. So, uh, and then to stop it, I'm just gonna hit my immersive uh, presenter icon again, turn it off, and there you'll see it goes right back to my normal screen, and I can bring up my uh, self view again, uh, which you see here, me moving around um, to my uh, desk pro again. So, quick video, just wanted to show you that, uh, give you an idea of what's coming, excited about it. I hope that you guys like it. Um, we've had some great feedback so far. Getting ready to go into EFT, so be prepared if you're a part of that. And um, right now we're on track to release this in March, unless we find any major bugs, but we're really excited about it. 
If you have any questions or comments, definitely uh, leave them below. And of course, subscribe so you can continue to get all of these great updates. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.